I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox to upload automatically both photos and video. I like it a lot better than iCloud because iCloud will only do photos, no video. So first you're going to need to click on camera upload. Mine happens to be already on, but yours probably isn't. This is in Dropbox. Okay, turn camera upload on. You're going to want to turn cellular data off or you use up all your, your data plan. Uh, background uploading is something new. Uh, I went ahead and enabled it. Basically, if you don't have Dropbox open, it will still go ahead and upload your photos and videos in the background. If you've got a lot of videos like I do, then this is nice because it takes a while to do so. When you auto upload, it automatically puts both photos and video into the camera upload folder. So we're now we're going to open it and click on a photo file to email to somebody. Actually, we won't send the actual file, we'll just send a link. You just click on it, go to the share button, and put in an address, and that's it. If you'd like to share multiple files, you're going to need to go to the Dropbox website. You do have some other choices here. It shows you how much space you've used. I've used most of mine. Okay, but now I'm going to open the website. And you can look at the choices up here. What we're going to do is we're going to share an entire folder. I'm going to share Pacific Street. I've actually already shared it, but we're going to share it with an additional person now. We don't want to create a new folder. We'd like to share an existing folder. It's pretty simple. Now we're just going to scroll through here. I'm going to share Pacific Street. Uh, I am a real estate agent, so I take video and photo clips and share them with clients so they can see the property when they're out of town. So now you just need to add a email address here. Uh, let me fumble around a little bit here, send it to myself. Share folder. And I'm not going to allow other members to, to write, uh, to invite others. That's a choice that you can make. Okay. Now, this is what we get in the mail. We get a little link that says view folder. We click on it and all you're going to see is the contents of Pacific Street. So whoever you sent it to can see any of the files in here. I'm going to click on a video file. Now MTS, that's a proprietary video file that my little camera takes. And you can stream it right from Dropbox. It's pretty convenient. Dropbox has become one of my favorite online sites. It's very convenient. If you turn on auto upload photos, they give you extra space, at least for now. And you can also manually upload. And there's a number of other things you can do. That will be a topic for another video. Thank you for watching.